Hello, hi guys, it's Ian. I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S7 and we're going to take a look at cursor control, Samsung versus Google keyboard. How many of you actually use cursor control? That's a good question. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, by this I mean if I load up the messages app, you know when you've got some uh, words going on here and say if you want to hit or if you've made a mistake and you want to correct it, you'd normally touch the screen and the cursor would move but sometimes it can be fiddly to get the right character so i'm currently using the samsung keyboard and what you can do on this one if you've got a cursor control activated is touch anywhere on the keyboard briefly and slide left or right whoops try that again there you go cursor starts moving touch briefly for about a second then move left or right and as you can see the cursor starts to move on the screen and it can be anywhere on the keyboard up or down left or right it doesn't really matter and incidentally if you don't know how to turn this on go to your settings and go down to where it says keyboard swipe even and you can either select cursor control continuous input I prefer cursor control but anywho that's how to switch it on so that's the Samsung keyboard let's take a look at the Google keyboard whoops let me go back into that so we can load the interface here we go we're gonna switch back to Google keyboard just pick a quick uh, number here so I don't know da -da 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 -da. there we go that sounds good so random number up there and if I hit the cursor down here if I gently press on the keyboard and move left and right like I did in the Samsung it just activates continuous input so on the Google 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 instance simply do the same again but only on the space bar so notice the cursor move I'll bring that in a little bit closer so on the Google keyboard just doing this on the space bar alone if you move off the space bar it stops working so I think the Google one is slightly better for my liking because you get to keep the continuous input as well as having the cursor control only on the space bar. But the Samsung one does work really well as well, specifically if you have trouble keeping your finger within that space bar location. So I'm actually interested how many of you actually use cursor control on your devices. Do let me know in the comment section down below and which one do you prefer, the Samsung keyboard the Google keyboard or do you have an entirely different preference do let me know in the comment section down below as ever you know what to do hit me up down below for anything else please like subscribe and tag along on social media at Inam Kafour. thanks for watching have a wicked day and I'll see you next time